Paul Watson here coming to you with another extraordinary workout for the day on this Sunday morning, soon to be Sunday afternoon, so let's get right to it. We've got a bicep and back workout that I want you to try to head to a park, and in particular, the one I'm gonna suggest is Todd Beamer Park, one of my personal favorites and an old stopping ground for me. The reason why I like out there is they got a pull-up bar and they've got a dip bar. Now, you're not doing dips. We did them a bunch of uh, tricep work on Friday, so our tries are still pretty smoked, and we've got a pushing day tomorrow. So we're not doing dips, but we're gonna use that dip bar if you need it for partial pull-ups. Now, other parks can have, uh, of course, dip bars, but they can also more likely have various height pull-up bars. They'll have a traditional height, they'll have a really high, They'll have sometimes a, a definitely a medium usually, and they'll even have a really low one, like for kids. And that, again, can be useful if you have to do a partial pull-up. If you can't get to a park and you still need to do this in your living room, it's still totally doable. I just think the pull-up bar and the dip bar or low pull-up for partial pull-ups is gonna be a little bit more effective than that broomstick we used on the two chairs last week. Um, so, see if you can get to Todd Beamer Park or another park. Plus, it is a beautiful day. I think you'll enjoy get out there a little bit and enjoying some sun. Okay, so, we're gonna go over this workout and then I'll detail every item more specifically. So, we're gonna do pull-ups, arm haulers, a superset of arm curls, um, and one arm rows, static hold and arm curls, another superset of dead hangs and arm curls. Noticing a pattern here. And uh, finish again with pull-ups. The equipment options. A backpack, if you've got nothing, nothing else, like no weights. Ugh, this is my Kelpie backpack. I got loaded up with books. It's like 45 pounds right now, so it's pretty good. Um, or a sandbag or some weights. And as a, just a little side note, I am gonna mention that if you need to borrow some weights, we've got a lot. So feel free to hit me up, weight sandbags, jumping ropes, all that stuff. So any way I, that, um, any, any of the equipment that you think you might wanna uh, snag, just go ahead and uh, shoot me a text. Okay, so let's go over this workout here. The pull-ups, we've got options uh, for you, depending on your strength. So, uh, weighted pull-ups. So, get those pull-ups full extension though, all the way down and all the way up. We don't do any kind of a silly CrossFit kit, but if you do need to kip with just your knees, that is going to be helpful. But don't be jerking your body and your core, uh, especially on your shoulders. Um, so, weighted pull-ups with a backpack on, uh, like I said, that's 45 right there, so that'd be pretty darn good. Regular pull-ups. Now, the other option is gonna be a jump and hold pull-up. So, this is very important, and one of my favorite ways to increase the strength in somebody to be able to do full-on pull-ups, which we've done very successfully over the years, is you grab a pull-up bar, don't let go, grab the bar, and jump to hold your chin over the bar. Hold it for about one or two seconds, and then come down slow. So that's a slow negative release. You are gonna feel those arms hurting, burning, including those lats. That's one rep. So we're gonna say reps of anywhere from like five to 10 reps. Um, and you're gonna do uh, five sets because you're supersetting that with a uh, V up like we did last week. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna move right into after those five sets are gonna be arm haulers. The arm hauler, just like last week we went over, keep those arms straight, get those, that body on the floor, extend those arms out, and keep those arms straight as you go back and have them touch your legs. 60 seconds is your first set. That should right off the bat tell you that this is no joke and uh, make you feel pretty miserable like we're just back in the gym and I'm right there with you. Then you're gonna do three sets of 30 seconds of work. Everything is with the 30 second rest. Okay, we're gonna move on to 
uh, a superset with some specific bicep strength training and rear delt work uh, with, with some uh, heavy weight. This is where we gotta be creative. If you don't have dumbbells um, or even a sandbag, um, then that's where we gotta use the backpack. So I've got my backpack here, it is loaded up. Um, so we're gonna do a concentration curl first. They kind of want to pre fatigue that uh, muscle. So you place your knee up here, elbow here. I think I'm going to move this here so you can see my profile a little bit better. So have this leg straight out to your body. The elbow goes right here. And this all stays stationary as you lift. Keep this in a straight line and up. Try not to move that knee, as I kind of did on that first rep, okay, but get dialed in and focus and really concentrate on that bicep. Okay, so that's your one arm row, I'm sorry, that's your concentration curl. You're going to go with that same arm and now you're going to do a one arm row. So if you're using a sandbag though, that's where you gotta throw it on its back, which I don't think you saw because my camera's not on the floor, but you'll see when I grab it, um, it's laying flat. It's laying like this. Okay, it's not like that. It's laying like this here. And then I'm also grabbing that canvas, which also is gonna help with that grip strength. Okay, I keep one foot out in front, put my free hand on the knee, Bend my torso over and I keep my elbow out and lift. So if I go ahead and face you straight on, you'll see my elbow. It's gonna stay out. Exhale. On that way up. Okay, so that's your combination. Curl, row, superset. All right, moving on, we're gonna do a static hold and two arm curl. So we're just gonna hold either that sandbag if you got it, uh, free, free weight dumbbells if you got it, or again, worst case scenario, a backpack. I'm gonna keep the same weight at 45 pounds. It's a tiny bit light for me, but uh, just for the sake of the video, um, I'm gonna try to keep this moving along here. Usually you should be able to go a little bit heavier, um, but what you'll do is, so you'll want to take the time to load up a little bit more weight. So the static hold, you're going to get this backpack or dumbbells, and you're going to hold that straight out there, keeping your core tight, and of course your biceps flexed. You hold that for 30 seconds, and then you go down and up, down and up. So now, once I'm curling though, I'm holding that backpack only in my hands, not on my forearms. Keep that back straight. Exhale. On the way up. I also wanted to mention that when you're doing these uh, holds and curls, it's actually best to hold the side you see my fist there, it's on the side. I adjusted to that once I started doing it. I had forgotten, that's actually how I like uh, and found it a little bit more effective than just here. That's not a bad for the static hold, but for the curl, you're gonna wanna hold it outside because you'll be able to get a full extension on those arms. Okay, so. Uh, that's your superset. Static hold, arm curls, and then bicycle punches. Uh, which uh, looks like somebody forgot to write on a whiteboard, but I'll make sure I have that in the description for you. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to a dead hang and arm curl. The arm curl is the same way. The dead hang, go ahead and grab that bar at the park for those pull-ups. Or worst case scenario, if you're still in your living room, you can grab a, uh, I guess a uh, frame, door frame, 
and you can be right here and then just lift those feet up. What I want to have you try to do is, especially if you're interested in doing any kind of obstacle course race, some individuals are, you really want to be focusing on your fingers with those dead hangs. So what we do in the gym on those dead hangs is we only do finger dead hangs on the bar. So if you're at the park, um, start with just fingers only, not your whole palm. Um, and then with regards, if you're at your house, you got that door frame. Okay, so that's your next superset dead hang for 30 seconds or until failure. If you can't get 30, just, you know, whatever it is, it is. And then arm curls. Now, the arm curls, now we're going higher rep, though. We stayed lower rep on the prior superset of static holds because that was pre fatiguing our biceps. Um, on the dead hang, you're pre fatiguing your forearms, but those biceps can lift. And then you're going to finish with a final set of pull ups. As I said on the whiteboard here, you can do these in as many sets of just two or three reps at a time. If, you know, you're really feeling smoked and done, you can go ahead and just do like two or three reps, get off the bar, shake out those arms, do another one even or two, or maybe three, um, until you get to 10 or 15, depending on your strength level, or if you need to, to do those as a partial pull-up. And then you're gonna do two or three miles of a run today to finish off a little bit of cardio. Okay, but that is it for the the training day today, like I said, feel free to hit me up for something more specific and customized. I have no problem helping you out. And uh, also with the equipment too. So, well, I think that's it. Stay safe, stay strong, God bless, and look forward to seeing you soon.